Hi friends and welcome back to Rustic and Lace DIY. I just want to stop real quick and just give you a heartfelt thank you and let you guys know that I truly appreciate all of your support that you give me and my channel. And for those of you who are new, my name is Brenda and this is Oliver and we are so happy to have you join us as well. So today's video we are just continuing on with the fall themed decorations and I absolutely love it. I love Christmas, I love fall and I am really excited about these decorations. So with all that being said, let's get to crafting. Okay, here is DIY number one. So I start out with one of these um, carvable pumpkins I got from the Dollar Tree and a sweater I bought from Goodwill. And I am going to use my box cutter and I am just going around the top part of this pumpkin and I am going to cut out that middle section. And once I get this all uh, traced out, this is pumpkin is just made out of styrofoam. So it's hollow in the middle. So I just basically push on the middle part and it just um, caved in. So as you see there, it just breaks apart very easily. And so once I got done with that, I went ahead and laid out my sweater and I got it for $5.99 at Goodwill and I am just cutting up the sides of each um, or up each side of that sweater and once I have that cut out I'm going to wrap my pumpkin up with that sweater now I don't know about you but for me when I think of fall I think of jeans and I think of sweaters and leaves and apple cider and pumpkin patches and all that fun stuff so i really wanted to decorate these pumpkins kind of based off of that off of what i picture in my mind when i think of fall so that's why i um, bought a sweater i wanted this type of sweater um, with the little cable knit that runs up and down and so here i'm just i wrap it and i am just hot gluing those ends together to help cover that orange pumpkin and then I am going to um, as you saw on that end I tucked in the bottom part of that sweater into that hole that I created and here I'm just gathering the top and I'm just cutting off the excess and then I'm taking some jute twine and I'm just going to tie it around the top right there and I tie, I just tie a knot, I believe, on this one. And then I take um, a little piece of wood that I got. I bought a bag of them from Amazon, and I'll link that in my description box. And I'm just going to hot glue that down into the middle of the top part of that sweater. And then once I have that all done, I um, am going to, I think, take a bow. Yeah, I took this lace um, that I had extra left over from that I bought from uh, Hobby Lobby and made a bow and then this ribbon I bought off of Amazon and I will link that as well. They're very pretty uh, Colors and they're nice and big and I'm just gonna make a bow as well um, If you guys want a tutorial of making bows, I can do that I think I my last video I kind of showed a little more of a kind of showed it a little bit more on how to do that so I can link that in my description box as well. So once I scrunch that all up in the middle I just take some of that jute twine that I cut off of what was on that pumpkin stem and I just tied a knot on that and then I'm going to put that lace uh, bow on top of that one and then I um, take this ribbon I got from Dollar Tree and I am just going to wrap it around those two bows, just um, attaching the two bows with that. And I really love this ribbon. I think it's really pretty, and I've just been waiting to use it on something. So here I'm just wrapping it around, and I'm just going to hot glue it down. And then I um, just cut off the excess that was on the back, although I don't think I show that. And then I just fluff up the bow, and I am going to dovetail the ends to give it that nice finish look. And then I am going to um, add that to the top of my pumpkin. Now, I wasn't done there. I bought this berry garland at the Dollar Tree 
and I'm just wrapping it around a pin and then I'm just going to trim it off and then I'm going to, I don't hot glue it here, I'm just kind of playing with it. Um, oh, I guess I don't hot glue it at all. I wrap the end part around the stem there and then I will make a second one and put it on the other side and then I hot glue that bow on um, in the middle there. And there it is. I just love it. And um, I decided to make another one and I did the same thing, but using denim. So after I had that all onto that pumpkin, I used these sunflowers and daisies that I also got from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to uh, hot glue them onto this pumpkin as well. And you can see there I made a bow with that um, jute twine instead of a knot. And then I'm just kind of doing these, uh, uh, hot gluing these flowers on in a diagonal, um, just kind of coming down and across the pumpkin. And then I'm going to take some more twine here and I'm wrapping it all around my hand, um, all the way to the end. And this was what I had left over from a previous roll of twine, so I thought it was perfect. I could just use all of it. So I'm just going to take the two ends and tie a knot into the middle there. And then I am going to hot glue that right on top of that one bow there. Just gives it a little more dimension. And there it is. Oh, and I also took a little uh, leaf sticker that I got from Hobby Lobby and put it in the middle of that bow. And there it is and I think they came out looking so cute but as I was editing I came up with another idea of doing something with those same kind of a theme but something else and so look forward to that hey you can follow me on social media at Facebook and Instagram at rustic and lace DIY I'd love to see you there so here is DIY number two so what I used here was a cake pan some um, Jenga blocks a spatula um, a little metal can and a printout that I made off of my Cricut Design Space. So basically, I am going to paint the whole cake uh, pan with my truffle paint, not my Waverly chalk paint in the color truffle. Then once it was dry, I Mod Podged it and um, to just kind of protect it. And now I am going to use my Waverly chalk paint in the color cashew to do some dry brushing all around that um, pan on the outside and then I took this um, these tins that I got from Dollar Tree now it comes in two for in two in one pack but I recommending getting two packs I thought I could maybe make it work with the lids but the lids just aren't wide enough and they keep falling off so I've had to buy a new another set to put on there but what I did is I just painted it all black and then I painted a big white spot in the middle and here I'm just tracing out a bottle with black and then I painted in the middle um, the whole thing in the middle black then I took four of these tumbling tower blocks or Jenga blocks whatever you want to call them and I am hot gluing them together and I believe I have three six eight um, sets of four that I make um, I originally was only going to do three and when I got to gluing them together. I forgot and did four. So <laughs> it all turns out. But then I took my printout that I um, created on uh, Cricut MySpace and I'm just putting it on there and just says pumpkins. And then I'm taking those block sets that I created and I'm going to hot glue them onto the pan on the lip of the pan. Now I know hot glue and metal don't usually work too well. But I figured since I'm going to be putting um, the sticks all around, that should help keep it all in place. So here I'm just hot gluing them on. And then I'm going to take those painter sticks. And I am just going to put some hot glue right there where uh, in the middle where the blocks are attached. And I'm hot gluing the painter sticks around that. And I end up here doing... Um, because I did four of those blocks instead of three, I, I'm showing two rows, but I think I end up doing four rows of those. So then once I was done and I went all the way around and was done with that, I took my super glue and my accelerant and I'm taking those lids that are now the wheels and I'm just going to put some hot glue on them. Sorry, some super glue on them. 
and then I am going to spray where I'm going to attach it. I'm going to spray my accelerant right there and then hold it down for about 10 seconds. And then um, tell you that stuff works really good on the two bigger wheels. The smaller wheels, not so good because there's just not enough because it has that little lip. It's not enough um, of that space to hold down. So I, I am going to have to get new ones because they keep falling off and I haven't gotten the new ones yet. So um, I totally recommend using something that's thicker like this, um, like the ones there that have that thicker base so that it attaches a lot easier. Then once I had those all attached, I took my spatula or pancake turner, whatever you want to call it, and I put a little dab of hot glue on the end and I just start wrapping it with my jute twine. And then um, it wraps really easily. I didn't really have to add any glue to it until I started getting to the bigger handle part. And so I got all the way to the top and added some hot glue there. And then I just wrapped the twine all up into that hot glue. And that handle, which I just created, is now going to be done. And once I get that all done, I am going to turn my little cart over and I'm going to hot glue that spatula part onto the bottom of that wagon. And then once I was done with that, I decided that it, those um, paint stir sticks just, I was going to keep them plain, but it just looked too clean for a little pumpkin patch wagon. So I decided to take my Waverly Antique Wax and I went around and I dry brushed all of those paint sticks as well as the tumbling tower blocks um, all the way around the cart. And then once I was done with that, oh, and I even did the pumpkins and I love the way it came out on that pumpkin sign. It was just really pretty. Then I took some raffia that I had and I just stuffed it all inside of that cart. And then I took one of these little pumpkins that I bought from Dollar Tree and that is it. And I think it came out looking so cute. I put those pumpkins in it. I added some leaves, some greenery, or not greenery, but some fall foliage to it. And I think it's just a perfect little place to store those cute little pumpkins. You have to let me know what you think in the comment box below, or if you've even done this yourself. I've seen a few people do this uh, different ways. Hey, I wanna thank you guys so much for supporting me and my channel by watching my uh, videos and the ads and if you want to support me in any other way you can always buy me a coffee or some craft supplies and the link is in my description box below as well and then here is DIY number three so I took um, some paper that I got from Hobby Lobby uh, this tray from Dollar Tree the leaves that I got from Dollar Tree and my Waverly chalk paint in the color ink and I am first gonna just take um, that tray and paint over the top part with that ink color. Then I am taking my clear wax, my Waverly clear wax, and I am just brushing that all along the front of that just to help protect the coating of paint. And while that was drying, I took the leaves and I traced them out on the paper, um, one for each uh, paper that I had out there. And then I cut them all out and once I was done with that, I just used a glue stick to glue each one on the front of those leaves. And then after that, I believe I'm going to take my um, Waverly, no, sorry, it's a folk art uh, home decor white wax. There you go. See, I'm just finishing up the leaf. I'm getting ahead of myself here. <laughs> okay, that's the white wax. Um, folk art home decor white wax. And I am just going to brush all around um, the whole sign and then wipe it off with a baby wipe to, um, it just gives it kind of a distressed look and it really brings out the little um, bumps that are around the edge of that tray and then just gives it a little bit of a distressed look as well. If you are enjoying today's video and haven't subscribed yet, I would really love it if you would subscribe and become part of our little family. I would just 
it would just make me so happy to have you be part of our family and make sure you give me a comment too and let me know um, that you're new and what you liked about today's video. So I just put some on Mod Podge on those leaves and then I made some bows and then I took some twine and wrapped it around the middle of the bows and made another bow with the twine. Then I had these leaves that I bought, these little teeny leaves from Hobby Lobby and I don't remember, I think they were either $2.99 or $3.99 plus 40% off. And they came with quite a few, so I'm just going to hot glue them onto the middle of those bows, or that bow. I guess bows. There's three bows there in one. <laughs> and um, then after I get those hot glued on, I'm just going to start layering everything onto that little tray that we painted. And so I just hot glue the leaves, um, one on top of the, the other, just going all the way down right there they fit perfectly in that little tray and then I hot glue the bow to the very top and then I had um, at Christmas time I had made some Christmas presents and I had these leftover uh, backs of frames from it so I used it and hot glued it to the back of my um, picture there so that it can stand up and then I just hot glued one of those leaves on each of the leaves that I created and I think it came out looking really cute. It's a nice little shelf setter and I really love the colors. I think that black just makes all those colors really pop. You have to let me know what you think of this one. So for DIY number four, I think this is my favorite. I absolutely love this one. So I used some leaves that I got from Amazon two of these black boards that I got from Dollar Tree and then a saying that I printed off from Cricut and some jumbo popsicle sticks. So I started off by painting the front with this chalkboard paint. I thought that this would cover it, but it didn't. You can see that um, it was really showing through. So I ended up turning it around and I went ahead and painted it with my uh, Waverly chalk paint in the color black. And then after that, I glued the popsicle sticks along the edge to glue it together. And then I am just here putting on um, my sayings. And here I did go in and weed out the middle of that A and those L's. I didn't realize it until I was doing that that I had forgotten to do that before. Um, and then once I have this saying done, I am going to add the leaves. Now for me, I one of the, my favorite thing about fall is the leaves when the leaves start turning colors and start falling i just ugh, i just think they are so beautiful and that is one of the things that i love the most about the fall so i just wanted to incorporate leaves in a, a diy that touched my heart and of course this saying touches my heart as well so i thought you know, there's nothing better than to have the two things that mean so much to you. So I went and I attached, I put a whole bunch of leaves onto that side, all the way up the top and down this side. And then here I am just attaching some jute twine to be a hanger. And I just poked them through the holes and then tied a knot um, at the end of each one of those. And we have a hanger and it was a super easy project. I absolutely love it and I can't wait to hang it up in my living room and there you go that is it it was very easy so here is the final project and I just love how it came out for me when I think about fall I love leaves that's one of my most favorite thing about fall and of course that saying is dear to me so both of those I just love so here is the final review feel of all the projects. If you are new, again, I really hope you hit that subscribe button and join our little family. Don't forget to give me that thumbs up. Give me a comment. Let me know that you were here today and what you liked. And I will be back in a couple of days with a new video. So be watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.